Back in the light of the worst communal clashes that the UK has seen in the recent past, Indian travellers have been advised. The High Commission of India in London is closely monitoring the situation and visitors from India have been advised to stay vigilant and exercise due caution while travelling uh, to the UK or within the UK. It is advisable to follow local news and advisories issued by local security agencies to avoid areas where protests are underway. This is what uh, the High Commission of India in London has uh, told visitors and people uh, who are planning to go to the UK. Let's go right across to Vishal joining us with the very latest. Um, Vishal, it's an interesting advisory that's been put out for Indians. There isn't a, uh, you know, any advisory against travelling, but the advisory is more cautionary. That is true. Uh, so the Indian government has released a series of uh, advisories for different areas of the world. So this seems to be a diluted version of that because... We seem to have uh, lost that line with Vishal. We're going to try and re-establish that line. Vishal, if you can hear me, do go ahead. We lost that line with you. Yes. So what, what the government has asked this time uh, as against the uh, earlier advisories for other countries is that uh, they want the citizens to be cautious when they travel. They want them to be vigilant and they want them to follow the local news. The riots have been uh, spreading across the uh, UK and also Northern Ireland. So it has been about eight days since the uh, riots were sparked. And uh, till now, about 400 people have been arrested by the UK police. The situation doesn't seem to be calming down. Uh, uh, we can recall that these protests were sparked by far-right um, movement. And uh, uh, there was a one person, uh, who, a 17-year-old, who was involved in the killing of three uh, uh, little kids, three little girls, the, who were aged three, six, and seven. Uh, so in that murder, uh, due to that murder, these protests were sparked and uh, it has not stopped. And uh, it has been about uh, these. These are some of the most brutal protests to have rocked the UK in the last 15 years. That is one of the biggest points. And uh, the UK government has heavily criticized this, this movement, this far right movement. The UK Prime Minister Starmer, the Justice Ministers, they have all come together and said that Whoever has been encouraging these protesters, whoever has been participating in these protest protests, they will be brought to justice. They will not escape justice. So, uh, so far, as I mentioned earlier, 400 protesters have been arrested. Uh, but uh, so far, there has not been any uh, news of Indians getting um, injured in these protests so far.